friends, let us pray together. Lord, how we rejoice in you today. We come to you with thankful hearts because we can gather as a congregation to exalt your name. We praise you for Marcia's public profession of faith in Christ displayed through her baptism today. We praise you, Lord, for you are the God who saves. You call the dead to life. You turn rebels into friends. You turn sinners into saints. Thank you, Lord. We once stood condemned by our guilt and our shame. We once were enemies of the cross, deserving of hell and with no righteousness of our own. But when the goodness and loving kindness of our God and Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy, by the watch, washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Lord, we recognize that in a day when so many are looking for the solution for all the societal problems around us, all the racial tensions, Lord, we know the answer. Christ alone is the answer. In Him, the two are made one. The wall of hostility is broken down. Sins are forgiven and men are reconciled. In Him, we find justice. In Him we find peace. In Him we find truth, wisdom, and life. Woe is us if we ever deny that in any way Jesus is the answer that the world in turmoil needs. We declare together, Father, that Jesus is the only hope we have in life and in death. Lord, we also want to ask you, as followers of Jesus Christ, to search us, O oh God, and know our hearts. Try us and know our thoughts and see if there be any grievous way in us. Lord, reveal to us if in our hearts we have in any way treated those created in your image in an undignified manner. Father, we deplore the sin of racism that can often be found in the hearts of men. We denounce those who practice it and mourn with those who have suffered from it. And yet, Lord, we recognize that we ourselves are susceptible to this sin as well. Father, if there is any grievous way in us, forgive us our sin. Teach us to put off hatred, partiality, selfishness, favoritism and put on mercy, generosity, selflessness, and above all, love. Lord, we pray that Sheridan Hills Baptist Church will continue being known for the love that we have for one another. May the world see us and inquire about the hope we have in Christ. May our unity be a proclamation of the gospel in itself. We're thankful, Father, for the vertical reconciliation we have experienced with you that also stretches horizontally to all who belong to you. Oh, Father, how we long for heaven where your church victorious will finally be your church at rest. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, we pray in his name. Amen.